A new countdown series begins. It's 2021, 2022, and we are starting our countdown to first serve series in Magnolia. Today, we get to visit with the head volleyball coach for the Southern Arkansas Mule Riders, Coach Lindsey Parks, in her third season. Coach, we look back a little bit to last year, and let's do that just to start with one and 10 on the year. It's tough to gauge with a season like that, you did get 10 matches in and of course the postseason in as well. So uh, there, there was some volleyball that was played and with the one win that a quality win against a ranked Arkansas tech team. So uh, what do you take from that? And, and is there anything at all that you can, I would think if nothing else, uh, you know, that when you do win, you, you have the players there to get something done. It's, it's not an empty cupboard. Yes. Um, that tech win came after a series of six losses in a row. So that shows right there that we have a lot of fight in us. Um, a bad team doesn't beat a ranked team. Um, tech was 18 at the time and we beat them in four. Um, so it, I, I, we earned that win for sure. And again, like it, after coming off of a series of six losses, that's really hard to win when all you've been doing is losing. So we were very close a couple other matches as well. So I think that um, proves that we're, we're in this. Um, our expectations have always been high. Um, they're a little bit higher now as the rest of the league has very low expectations for us. Um, but that win for Southern Arkansas Volleyball was the first win over a ranked opponent ever. So that's huge for us. Um, but now that's last year and we're moving forward. We're using that. Um, now we had a very, very young team last year where um, you mentioned we only got 10 games plus the postseason. Um, where we got beat in the first round. So that's a different, uh, an, another set of goals that we're um, adjusting moving forward. But um, a young team needs, just flat out needs those preseason tournaments that we didn't get um, yeah. to kind of knock some rust off, knock and figure out some kinks and stuff like that. And we went right into post, we went right into um, conference um, and we have a very tough conference, especially on the Arkansas side. Um, so that was, you know, it, our inexperience showed a little bit. And then if you can believe it, we're going to be even younger this next season. <laughs> so we have one senior, um, got a good group of four um, COVID sophomores, and then four COVID freshmen. And then we add six true freshmen as well as two transfers. So we have nine returners and eight newcomers. So we're going to be even younger. Um, but the the freshness of it coming in, um, they're they're eager I've got three of them already on campus and they're rolling in in the next hour. They're eager to go, get going. And um, the young group is also extremely athletic um, as well as the rest of the team is too. So um, our hopes are high. Yes. One win. Like you said, it's hard to gauge, but for us, it was easy to gauge because then we now, we now know that we can do it. Um, we can come back um, and we can beat ranked teams in four sets. Um, so, so yeah. Coach, you know, I, I recognize moral victories, you know, you can you can rest your hat on them or, or not one way or the other. But I, I think coming in, one of the things that uh, we see from your program is is that uh, you've just made some adjustments in, in changing the culture there. And those are the, the, the things that can help you build. Can you talk about that? And, and you know, you, you weren't out of a lot of matches last season. What does a change in culture then mean for a team like yours that is young? Well, I don't know if I would say that the culture was bad before. Um, I think that the coaches before me have done a fantastic job and there's a lot of really good humans who have led a lot of really good humans. I think for me, I had clear expectations and I shared those expectations. And I'm sure that the coaches prior to me have also done that. Um, but I think that um, one thing that we've done as a program is adhere to those expectations. Um, never really, I mean, moral victories are one thing, especially as we're going through a turnaround here, but I don't like losing at all and nobody in coaching or in, in athletics <laughs> likes losing by any means but you're right um, you know our expectations are to win um and there's some clear stepping stones that have to happen um in order to get to that point um but to me we're we're getting close to being done with moral victories being a notch in a win column for us so um as we move forward um, we expect to win and um we will do that um in the next couple of years as well so yeah we're speaking now with Lindsay Parks, who is the head volleyball coach at Southern Arkansas. As you mentioned, team picked, according to the preseason coaches poll, as 12th in the GAC for 2021. Uh, coach, you, you mentioned nine returning players, eight new names on the team. One of those returnees uh, getting some solid time for you in 2021 in the spring 
2021. It's interesting to talk about these stats, yeah. spring and fall 2021. That's going to be there on the books for years to come. Uh, Morgan Schuster, second in the conference in assists per set. So uh, did a good job in leading the way for you there. Nearly 10 assists per set at 9.93. Talk That's about awesome. Morgan and, and some of the, the other players that are coming back for you. Morgan Schuster is a phenomenal leader and a phenomenal athlete. Um, anybody, any program will be lucky to have her. And I'm just counting my lucky stars that she's with us. Um, her freshman year, where we were only three and 24, um, she was fourth in assist per set as a true freshman. Um, didn't get much honors. Last year, she was second in assist per set, and they gave her second team all conference. I feel like she deserved more, but um, in, in all honesty, you got to win in order to get those because several of those weekly mm. awards that were given, well, she outperformed several of those setters just numbers wise, yeah. um, just strictly numbers wise, um, but we lost with it too. So that's that's where um, you know we start winning and she'll see some of those weekly awards. Whereas Tori White um, against Arkansas Tech hit 580 as a true freshman and got offensive player of the week. And those weekly awards, that, that weekly award was the first time in, I wanna say five or six years that somebody had gotten a weekly award at yeah. SAU. And then Morgan Schuster and Morgan Gross, who was our um, senior right side who just graduated, um, they got second team all conference. And that was the first time someone had got first or second team since 2015. So clearly we're taking steps forward. And when we start winning, you're going to see more of that because we, we do have a group of athletic, talented human beings. We just got to start learning how to win and putting some teams away and experience helps that as well. It will go a long way. I'm sure coach. Well, you're going to get that experience very soon. The season gets underway quickly. And you all are going to be in Tennessee to open your schedule. Christian Brothers get some matches in there and then head up the road to Hendricks, play some matches there as well. Now, there's a Harding uh, GAC match in there in between some of these pre-conference schedules. Mm -hmm. So you get to take on uh, the Lady Bisons at, uh, at that point. Nation. Yeah. So that's a, that's a that's a big one right there. A little bit more going back to Tennessee and then the GAC yeah. slate gets underway full on so talk about that schedule well the memphis tournament to christian brothers is actually a tournament that we were um committed to in fall of 2020 before it got canceled so um i think that's going to be a really good tournament for us we were going to host the second weekend where we're going to conway to hendrix now um but just every, things fell through and so we needed some games and um now i think it's a great thing for um, our young group to play um in that tournament there. And we're, we're lucky that they're um, are allowing us to come. And then, like you said, and then because um, we get three weekends of preseason tournaments, but we got to start that conference tournament. So we're on the road for two weeks and then um, we play Hardy. Um, but I, I enjoy playing the best of the best. And um, I think that's more telling. And then we learn more as well as a team. And hopefully we can um, just put a good product on the floor against Hardy. And like you said, we go back to, Tennessee to Jackson. I don't know my infatuation with Tennessee this, this season. We're going there twice. But, um, so it's kind of fun because I feel like a lot of um, the ladies on the team actually haven't been um, to Tennessee, uh, or at least a few of them. So I think that'll be fun. And I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, so I'm going to test out the Memphis barbecue and I'll, and I'll let everybody you. know to see how it stacks up. But um, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to those preseason tournaments because, like I said, we, those things um, got taken from us um, in this spring 21 season. So that'll be good. Um, to get a lot of fresh faces on the floor, get them experience, and see what we can do with this season. All right. Well, Coach, uh, our household is a, is a Missouri household as well, so okay. I'm a big fan of the Kansas City barbecue. I do want to hear how it matches up. I, I think that's a tall order, though. I'll let you know. Okay. All right. The Southern Arkansas Mule Riders pick 12th in the GAC preseason coaches volleyball poll for the fall of 2021. Coach Lindsey Park, success to you all, to the Mule Riders this season. Thank you so much for taking time with us as we count down to first serve in the GAC. Appreciate it. You have a great day.